You know I gotta sit there. I gotta film my video. Are you gonna let me sit there? Thanks. Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be showing you my May favorites. I had mostly favorites this month and I didn't have a lot to fuss about because everything I tried, I don't know if it's so much that I was careful about trying things that I didn't spend money on. I know I, I bought one thing and I returned it. One of the things I purchased, which I guess was not a favorite, but rather the opposite, was a serum. It was the L'Oreal Youth Code Serum, and I took a picture of it before I returned it. And I just wanted to get it returned before <laughs> I like lost it and couldn't get my money back, but I bought it to try it because it was sort of supposed to be a dupe for one of Lancome's really highly acclaimed serums. And I am oily skinned, and this thing just made me grease up like an oil slick. It was insane. All of my under eye makeup would just run on my face for a few days because using this serum made me ultra oily. So I tried the L'Oreal Youth Code Serum and it was not good for my oily skin. Made it oilier. So I do not recommend for you oily ladies if that is a problem for you. One favorite this month that is actually a product I've gone back to or I don't know if it's the same or reformulated because I used to use Biolage Hydrotherapy or Hydrofuge or whatever and what they have now instead of that is called Hydrosource It's got the same ingredient in it aloe and other things that help to hold the moisture in your hair And I just bought this two pack that was like $20 at uh, The salon that's like in your Walmart because you can buy like actual genuine not counterfeit products in there and I, I bought this for $20. This is gonna last me forever. I'm not even halfway through it already through this sucker in a month, but I will say that this does a really good job at maintaining my moisture, I mean just like the old Hydrofuse used to do, and I think they may have reformulated this, that's why they named it, I almost think this one's a little better, or it just could be me like tricking myself, I don't know, but either way, I did not have nearly as many split ends in between haircuts as I normally do, they didn't end up needing to get rid of as much hair as they do because I get dry ends really badly and I think this really helped me hold on to a lot of my hair so I really recommend it. Another favorite this month that I've owned for like a year is the electric palette and the fact of the matter is I haven't fully taken advantage of how cool this palette can be. I tried to buy a like Coastal Scents dupe for this palette and that does not even compare to this. These little butter balls are really pigmented like holy crap. And you can see that as the case in my video that I submitted as my NYX Face Awards entry where I had like a galaxy mask on my face. I used these and they were really amazing to use and they just made my mask look really cool, like the color really pops. So I've actually been playing with these a little bit and incorporating them into like looks that I would do that you know, or natural and then add a bit of pop of color. Or I've been playing with like little rainbow looks in the privacy of my home. I actually want to do a rainbow liner look and show you guys sometime soon because this is the perfect palette for that. Okay, so the next thing I've been at least liking this last month, but this is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Auburn. This is a really good mascara if you just want lazy day brows. You want them a little bit defined and filled in, but you want them pretty understated. This is pretty good to go, and I still want a little bit more time to play with it, but thus far I'm liking it, especially because I don't do so well since my eye, my nose is pretty crooked. I don't do well with the Insta brows, like the perfectly framed front of the brow that fades out so much, because since my nose is crooked, that just highlights like the lines appearing, and it's very off-center looking. So. I do much better with like just kind of a natural, slightly unruly front and this gives that kind of natural fill in in the front of the brow. So I really like it. So because this is a favorites video, I'm actually going to make a separate video showing you guys what it looks like to just put these in your eyebrows and just have a little demo. It'll be a really quickie little video so I can show you guys how that looks. But thus far, I'm liking it, and I'd like to give you guys some tips on how to use it, and yeah. And speaking... What, what is this doing here? And speaking of brow products, another one I've actually been loving that came in my BoxyCharm box, yeah, last month I think, is the Bodyography Eyebrow Brush. I've had a lot of eyebrow brushes, and it never occurred to me that sometimes your eyebrow, eyebrow brush hairs need to be a little bit kind of coarse, and unruly to really give your actual eyebrow hairs a more coarse 
natural thing going on with him, if that makes sense. Like, if, if you have a perfectly angled eyebrow brush that's more like eyeliner, then it doesn't give you the most natural uh, application. And this is really good at picking up, I guess, just because the density of the hairs are, they're almost like horse hair. They just really pick up product really well and you know I start in the middle of the brow and get it to wherever I want and I, I just really like this. Plus it comes with a spoolie at the end. I'm sure I'll jack up this spoolie before long because I jack them all up, get like little micro hairs in there but it's really useful and I love it. Another thing I've been loving this month that I actually got around Christmas season, I don't know whether it was this Christmas or last, and I don't know if it's part of the permanent line, but it's this OPI nail lacquer, and it is in the shade Ski Slope Sweetie, which tells me it might be like a holiday one, which bums me out because I really like this color. Possibly I could find something like it elsewhere, but it's really iridescent. It's an iridescent pearl with like, yellow gold like flecking looking stuff like micro pearl and then it's got a bit of like a purpley blue sheen to it as well so it's just really pretty to watch as your fingers move and it gets even prettier after two coats like you can get by with one coat and it still look nice but this is like really ethereal and pretty and you'll find me using the word ethereal a lot in favorites videos because that's one of my favorite things is ethereal stuff one thing that wasn't a favorite this month, and I don't have it on me, but I'll show you the one that wasn't jacked up, but I had an e.l.f. eyeliner sharpener, and oh my gosh, I, I couldn't find all my other eyeliners, so I decided to use it, it was like a dollar or something, and that thing was jacking up all my eyeliners, it was like eating them, it would carve the pencil tip at such an angle that it would just take too much product and anything that I sharpened would want to peel off so it was sucky but I used a couple other ones that were good I have a benefit one that one worked well and this is my NYX one it works well so I just don't recommend the elf eyeliner sharpener that thing ate some of my pencils so yeah Okay, another favorite I've been liking this month I'm actually wearing right now, and this is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. It's got 15 SPF, and I got it in the shade NW10, which is the fairest shade that MAC has available, aside from their like white foundation you can buy in the Pro line, which I don't own that. But I will say that this is pretty fair when you put it on, relatively speaking, um, but it does oxidize a bit on the fate and face, and oftentimes, I can even kind of tell in videos, I'll have worked it everywhere but my jawbone a little bit back here, like closer to my ear, and after it oxidizes, I can see a bit of my fair skin peeking through. So, I have been mixing it with this Manic Panic Dream Tone, and it ends up working really well for me. So, before I even mix the Dream Tone in this, though, I will say I do really like the finish. It's like natural, it looks like skin, but you know, more flawless. And I really like it. I will say that some people on my Instagram warned me that this has broken out some people, but I re don't really know if that's the case happening for me. I'm still getting some breakouts that indicate they're more hom hormonal or from sleeping on the right side of my face on the pillow and not washing the pillow enough. So I don't think this one is breaking me out. I think if you're a touch tanner or a little bit more yellow than me, you might like this. And if you're not, then maybe you should mix it with some white foundation or just try this white foundation and up your pale game. Alright, so those are my finished May favorites. I hope you guys like the new setup I have going on in here. I'm probably going to be filming more in front of my vanity and switching like sides of the room for different videos and you know the new color scheme I'm super excited about because before that it was like baby poop brown. I, I'm not even joking. It was terrible. And I worked really hard on this room to pull it together. <laughs> I like to work my entire Labor Day weekend trying to do this. And so I hope that it shows in the video and makes the videos look a little better and more tolerable to look at, like, color scheme-wise. So, yeah. If you guys are interested in seeing a room tour type video, let me know. Comment down below so I can kind of gauge whether there's really an interest in that. Um, I, I've never even had the chance to have something like that, so I would, I would be more than happy to show it to you guys if you were interested. Anywho, I hope you guys liked this video and you got some good recommendations or things to avoid and let me know if you've tried some of this stuff below. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great night and you enjoyed these favorites and not favorites and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bub, are you going to let me film my video or no? Get out of my chair. Come on. Don't be rude. Doing. I'm gonna take
tickle you. I'm gonna tickle your belly. Tickle, tickle.